What's going on guys? Happy holidays. This is going to be the last video of 2019. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. I thought I'd change it up a little bit and have a little fun with the video. Um, for your background information, uh, my partner here, James, he's a yellow sash under Anastasio Kali. So he's still technically a beginner in curriculum. And this is going to be a video basically how to teach you one of the drills that we like to use here. It's basically a block check counter formula in a freestyle uh, format. So basically anything goes as long as you go over the amount of counts. In this case, we're going to be doing three. Um, and then you kind of follow that principle of block check counter. So this drill is especially good. Doesn't matter what level you are. And I'm going to prove right now that anybody can do this drill because James has never done this before. So even with the basic amount of knowledge you have, if you just follow this principle and you follow the certain cues of the drill, you'll be able to do this. And it's a very important thing in Filipino martial arts because we do have a lot of uh, flow drills. We do have a lot of tp tp drills or sequences that are almost pre-choreographed. And while those serve their own purpose and they are good because we do teach those here as well, sometimes it's good to break the mold and see if you can actually react to a strike without knowing it's going to be there. Of course, this is still a drill itself, so I'm not actually going to hit James and James isn't actually gonna hit me. We're just gonna provide the angle to help uh, our partners work off that. So I'm gonna give the, the first strike for James. And basically, again, it's a three count. You're gonna block my stick first, you're gonna check with your safety hand, and then you're gonna counter. And as that counter comes, you're gonna leave the counter out there very slowly so that I can be released and then I can move and work. So. If we were to apply block check counter, we would want to finish it right there and then. We don't want to continue this drill, but because we want to you know, flow from side to side, it's almost like we're resetting the situation every single time. So I'm just going to give this very slow, and then James, you can go ahead, block, check. And I'm not telling James what to do. This is completely on his own will. Okay, so go ahead. Now, is it the best move all the time? No. Go ahead, check. But you can always learn off of it, and now we're building your reaction skills. We're building body language and he's starting to see patterns he's starting to see different ways that he can attack or defend himself this is close range close range here use your use your forearm here yeah check it yep create some space here we go yes and so you can be as specific as staying in a particular range you could be very detailed where you can be uh, shifting from different ranges as well sticking with slashes so on and so forth i'm going to keep this very basic here keep moving good I'm gonna, I wanna work different angles for James, so I wanna see him react from the right side to the left side, see what happens if I make him go in different directions. And basically, we'll build a tempo with each other where we're working, we're not actually competing. This can be friendly competition, but it's educational and fun at the same time. That's it, keep going. Good. That's it, yep. Good. Good, break the count sometimes and just flow very nicely. That's it, so I'm blocking and checking at the same time making sure that he can react. He sees the block and he sees his counter. So he's internally timing his movements to make sure that he can meet the situation at hand. Doesn't know what strike I'm doing, but he can feel it. He can see the body language a little clearer now. Sometimes you end up in patterns and you see that there's different ways that you react, but you ultimately go back to the same thing. And that's perfectly fine. When you do a block to counter, if there's no rules, and in self-defense, there really aren't any rules of, aside from the law, but in terms of application, I believe your, your instinctual behavior is the best behavior you can work on because in any formalized technique or anything that is foreign to your body, you don't have much confidence in it. You don't really know what it is. So the hard part of this is in milliseconds, making a decision on, should I do this technique that I learned in class? Should I do that technique that I learned in class? Oh, this is wrong on paper. That's not gonna matter when you're in the, in the motion and when you're actually in the situation. But that's why it's very important to train structure. That's why it's very important to have that backbone. Will it be done like that all the time? No, Filipino martial arts is very flowing and it's very, uh, in fact, it's very unorthodox because you learn things in different orders and you learn things uh, in different sectors or different criteria. But ultimately you wanna, Refine that to a point where it becomes, you know, part of your instinct now. You've improved your instinct. Your fundamentals are there without you even thinking. And so when you go back to a block check counter drill like this, that's freestyle, where basically the only thing that, that we abide by is, obviously don't hurt each other, but a three count or maybe a two count or a block check counter formula, we could do whatever we want. 
And then here is where I can see, can I truly pull off a Crusada technique? Can I, can I truly pull off an abanico here? What's gonna happen is if I strike my angle one and he comes back on the backhand side, can I react off of that? And being familiar with your fundamentals or being familiar and being able to not only dissect and understand what you're doing, but be able to be confident in that little bit that you have it's very, very important, and that's one of the, my main philosophies with Anastasio Kali. I don't just want you to know because I said so. I want you to be able to feel and see that whether you know the 10 basic strikes or you know 15 different sequences of Sinawali, you should be able to use that, right? Um, and that's essentially what we're trying to look for in blockchain counter. So again, now that you've gotten a little bit warmed up, if I come over here and go ahead blockchain counter, yep. I'll come inside here. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yep. Yeah, pass it off here. Yep. Good. Work with what you have. Don't make up things that aren't there. Work with the angles. I'm being nice, but I want you to react. Come towards me now. Attack. 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 Yes, aggress. There you go. That's it. Good. Good. Very nice. So, once you kind of get into the habit, now you're, you're, you're just thinking block, check, counter, block, check, counter, block, check, counter, not. Well, angle one for angle one, or in the 10 basic blocks, this is how you're supposed to block angle three, it's not gonna matter. And, and of course, we can pick this up a notch and see if these are actually going to work in, in full sequences if I'm swinging the stick, but you know, there's a time and place to, to pressure test it that way. This is just a, a fun building block method where you can take the small things uh, that you've picked up along the way and put it into a friendly application and see if you can pull it off without my partner giving me an angle one. And he stops right there. So that's, of course, anything can work at that point. And I don't want to have the luxury all the time of having 15 to 20 seconds to making sure that I put my angle one up correctly. Did I do the right steps? Did I do that? Did I? You could do that in different drills that are focusing on that. But sometimes you're going to do what your heart tells you to do or what your body tells you to do. And you got to work off that. You got to flow off that. Very, very important when it comes to Filipino martial arts. So. You could do this in, in empty hand, single stick, single knife, double stick. You could do it in all different configurations. It's a fun little drill, guys. So try it out uh, at your gym with your training partner, wherever you guys are. Let me know in the comments below if this made sense to you. And like this video if you enjoyed not only this video, but hopefully everything I've put out for you guys this year. And I just want to say one more time, thank you for all of the, the love you show this channel helping us get not only past the year end goal of 30,000 subs, but we actually surpassed that. We're actually at 31. So thank you guys for that. 2020, we're gonna give out a lot more content, a lot more variety, and then hopefully you'll be training with us in the new year with Anastasio Khalid. So until then, happy holidays, and catch you guys later.